So my name is Natalie DeMonte. I'm the director of the CFC Media Lab. So I am at the intersection of tech innovation, social purpose, and creativity. And we've been the innovation hub of the Canadian Film Centre since um, 1997. Um, our focus has, ha has always been centred around and started um, with the creator, who is the artist, who could be the storyteller, um, navigating the digital media space. So we've, we are very much like a, a lab where we can prototype and we can experiment with things. So we have been producing experimental forms of storytelling uh, for quite some time. Pedro also mentioned Idea Boost. So that was our tech startup accelerator since 2012. This was a program designed for entrepreneurs. These folks are in immersive media, right? Not just not just creators of content, but the creators of technology, of the tools, of the platforms used to, um, you know, distribute, to, to market. So Fifth Wave um, launched last year um, as a result of government funding we received called the Women's Entrepreneurial Ecosystem Strategy Fund, or WES for short. And this is the first feminist business accelerator for women and women identified business owners. Um, we're weaving feminist ideals of equity and fairness into, into traditional business practices. And again, shifting that narrative and signaling towards a paradigm shift from, uh, you know, dominant um, Western business culture and helping women um, push through those, those barriers at a systemic level. We launched something, uh, an initiative called Open Immersion Lab. And this was just for indigenous storytellers and creators who not necessarily have experience in VR, but have an interest in, in virtual reality. And this was from across uh, Canada and the US, right? Turtle Island. And um, what, what we want to do with these folks is, is give them a chance to explore um, their, their artistic sense and, and storytelling and, and, and a platform that they're interested in. And we reduce the barriers for them to participate by, um, you know, through a variety of ways. Pedro had asked uh, me uh, to focus on, on this one program called the UK Canada Immersive Exchange Program. Um, so this was a year in the making between um, ourselves, the CFC Media Lab, in partnership with Canada Media Fund and the Canada Council for the Arts on the Canadian side, and then three partners on the UK side. The objective was to create co-productions between our countries. Um, we decided we were going to have a cohort of 24 participants, 12 from Canada, 12 from the UK. Of the 12 in each country, we were going to separate that into six creative leads and six creative producers. Creative leads did not have to have VR or immersive media experience. They just had to have an interest in it, but they had to have some other artistic uh, uh, background to bring to the table. Then we have the creative producers, who are the ones that um, we did ask or we did have the requirement for prior immersive media production experience. It was more important for us to bring these creative minds together in a collaborative fashion um, to then push, you know, push forward new, you know, new immersive media experiences and new, potentially new storytelling experiences, right? Do you think that uh, immersive uh, storytelling, for example, uh, could uh, be a good tool for creating uh, visual narratives uh, about the work of art in immersive environments uh, in VR? Technology is rapidly evolving, right? And, and so we're getting to a place where um, these stories are, are told um, in, in, a, in an immersive way um, notes on blindness. Um, that's a that's a really interesting story, and and uh, told from the 
from a person living with blindness. Um, another one is the key of telling the story of a person um, uh, with the lived experience of a refugee and what that, what that means. So like lots of deep, meaningful um, stories and, and creators are out there and storytellers are out there and they really, they really want to share these stories.